What's up, everybody? It's Crypto Muscle coming back to you with another YouTube video. And uh, as I begin this video, I was uh, perusing around the crypto YouTube verse, kind of going around to see what's going on. And uh, surprisingly, Bitcoin is up. And so. I was like, wow, you know, it's touched, I think it touched $9,500 yesterday. I was like, man, that's not bad. And so, but I still think it's going to be going down. So that's just my current thought on that. But, um, you know, as I peruse around, you know, this whole, you know, thing about hex and, you know, I'm, I'm just kind of looking at the different things that are been popping up in the recent days, right? You got Hex, of course, is always in one of the headlines besides Bitcoin. And you have all these dApps that have been coming out lately. And with the dApps, you know, one of the hottest ones at the moment, you know, and I've done a couple of videos on it already is Forsage, right? And I've, you know, explained my reasonings about why I stayed away from Forsage and all that. And so, am I going to FOMO in on this one? Oh no, am I? But uh, I wanted to kind of take a deeper dive into that. So, you know, let's take a look at DAP stats, right? So, DAP stats, um, you know, they laid it out. There's, uh, let me go here. There's about over a thousand different DAPs out there, right? So, convoluted and full of tons of daps out there and uh yeah, i'm kind of going down this list here look at that you know forsage is at number two right now and it's funny because it says there's zero balance you know i guess they keep keep the eth off the con you know the main website contract deal there and so and they talk about the volume uh even though it's up it's down right 24 hours up but overall volumes down boom boom Seven day volumes down. That's interesting, but it is number two at the moment, and they they rate this at high risk. And uh, you, know, you go on down the list and all that. You got hex over here, and obviously that's been up. Um, it's reached its all time price high, which I'll show you in a second, or I guess l later on in the video. And like seven day volumes up, eighteen percent. It's pretty big pretty big chunk of number there and then you have like garbage exchanges on here like idex and you know you st and then you got all these random you know you got a lot of good you know different ones very common names like bet fury bankrolls up there you keep going um i mean there's all these different ones out here all all this stuff and keep going out you got beehives I mean, it's it, Curvy, that's one of the newer dApps a few months ago from Team Just, the Curvy, they have another garbage exchange, Fork Delta, uh, look at that, Crypto Kitties, the original Crypto Kitties, but I'm going to show you where, the reason why, this is the reason why I stay away from Forsyth, I don't care how well it's doing, you got Crypto Hands, right, I joined Crypto Hands, and, uh, few months ago and it didn't, it didn't do jack shiz for me at all uh, i think i only went up maybe three levels and then it died and it's still done look at that down on the seven day volume 55 percent and uh yeah it's i don't even know how this thing is staying alive this thing is garbage though but um yeah i stayed away from it because that's what it is it's, it's a Current trend right now, right, in dApps. Besides, you know, all the Tron stuff's going on, all the IOC dApps stuff going on right now. Aside from all that, the current trend in ETH dApps is uh, this MLM style dApp. So, you know, I made this video today, you know, with the talking about Forsage, Crypto Hands, Hex, and I was inspired by, you know, the uh, Nobody Crypto out there. He did a Forsage review, and there's another one out there, Simple Crypto. You know, it inspired me to, to do this video. So, you know, I, I looked at their review and what they their thoughts are on, uh, well, 
No Bridge for Crypto did a video on Forsage, right? And I pretty much agree with what his assessment is about Forsage and why he stayed away. And it's pretty much along the lines of why I stayed away. And uh, there's another guy, uh, Simple Crypto, out there. Um, he got in on it, but that's the trend, though. Uh, he's been reviewing all these different platforms, and uh, it's MLM style platforms. That's the trend right now. Uh, you have all these different platforms uh, with, you know, that's MLM style, right? Matrix style, you know, you, you, you get yourself a position in the matrix. And this is what started it all right here, Crypto Hands, for the ETH that I can recall um, that started it all. I mean, you go into four sides, they say, uh, you know, they're the world's first 100% decentralized matrix project. But I don't know. What, I mean, wasn't Crypto Hands a matrix type of project? I mean, isn't that what they are? It's MLM style. It's a matrix. You got to, you know, go up different levels to achieve higher levels of payouts and all that stuff. Isn't that what the same concept is with that? So, uh, I don't know. I just, that's just, when I did Crypto Hands, I was like, man, I'm not going to do another, you know, another BS like that again. So that's why I kind of just, it kind of persuaded me off of Forsage. And, uh, you know, and then there's other ones that was introduced out there more, most recently, uh, as highlighted by Simple Crypto, you know, uh, there's Ether King and, uh, I think there was another one that was brought out. And again, these are MLM style DAP. So, um, you know, you start at the base, you know, I'll use, uh, you know, I could use Crypto Hands or Forsage for an example, right? You, you pay a certain amount of ETH, right? And then the next person that comes in under you pays a certain amount of ETH and then you know you got to get you know a couple more others to come in under you and then it builds you up you know to another level right and then with that you get paid more ETH right now you could just take it and go but what do you want to do you're tempted to just put it back in and ante it up right boom so you're looking to get as much referrals as possible to build you up MLM style and as long as they contribute a piece along with your contribution it's going to build you and pay you back more ETH and so the hope is that everybody contributes as much as you do and more in order for you to get a bigger payout and more and so this is the big mess and again you know DAPS is considered a game right so it's going to only be as good as as long as people continue to contribute to the game itself. And once they stop or, you know, they get bored, uh, then it's done. And then they just say, all right, I'm out of here. And they look at Crypto Hands. I, I don't know. Crypto Hands to me didn't take off that that well to me, in my opinion. And so I thought it was just complete garbage. And I didn't. I didn't go back in after the second level after I was just seeing how slow it was and I was like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go beyond, I think I went through the third level actually, but, um, I was just like, I'm not even going to bother with this. If people want to throw it in under me, uh, I might have some old link floating around out there and stuff that I probably didn't erase. And then people might see an old video and be like, Oh, look at this crypto hands and you know, throw some ETH in it, but this sucks. And then, when I looked at Forsage, you know, I was just like, man, this reminds me so much of it, you know, and, and, you know, another thing that nobody crypto pointed out was these pumped up numbers, right? I mean, are there really 99,895 participants? I mean, 99,000, that's a lot. You know, it says 65,000 ETH. They must keep it off, you know, it's only, <laughs> only 0 0.05 ETH to join. And it's funny because... Um, you know, you look at the DAPS as it says, it's, you know, not there. So they, they, I guess it's not, I'm guessing when it says zero balance, it means it's not on the platform itself. It's on, you know, the contract off the site. So that's my assumption on four sides. I mean, I'm not a, you know, one to read contracts and all that stuff. And so that's what it shows here. Your average is found zero, zero. And, uh. Yeah, that's what they point out at. But yeah, when I looked at it, you know, they use this cougar, I guess, as, 
you know, some, you know, animal representation, you know, it's supposed to be, I guess, fast and exciting, you know, you know, it runs around, all that good stuff, uh, zero risk factors, of course, everything is a risk, so I don't know about zero risk factors, it's only 0 0.05, right, and, uh, instant peer-to-peer, -peer, transparency, blah, 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 I just can't get off this cougar, right, because, I'm not really a fan of this kind of cougar. I'll just take uh, real life cougars instead, you know, and stay off of this type kind of cougar. You know, I, I prefer to just go for the cougars, you know, out there, the the real ones, life, real life cougars. Yeah. And so with that, you know, um, it made me think about it even more. And so I'm just curious, you know, because. You got Gandiji that's been out here. It's been hidden. It's well over two years now since Gandiji put out this immutable, undisputable contract out there. You know, indestructible. And, um, it's still, look at that. Still over a thousand ETH in the balance. Uh, I mean, talk about sustainable. <laughs> this thing's been sustaining two plus years now. And, um, it's interesting. And I'm, you know, I know that Sonny out there is very good at reading contracts and all that. And I'm just curious if he, or anybody else that is familiar with the Gandhiji contract, doesn't have to be Sonny, but it could be anybody, or anybody that could reads contracts, have read anything about Forsage and see anything that's different or odd or you know, just kind of questionable. I'm just curious. I mean, I'm I'm just very curious about it. You know, and because I'm not a contract reader, you know, so I'm not one to be like, oh yeah, you know, I'm just gonna, you know, I could break this thing down and I could tell you what's up with this. You know, that's not what I do. You know, so. But I know that Sonny is is you know pretty good about that since he's you know built this contract and you know he could break it down to you and you know like I said. He's built the immutable and unstoppable. He made P th this version of P3D better, you know. And speaking of which, let me go take a look at P3D here. Let's see here. I'm sure that this is a flash from the past, right? That you guys haven't seen a P3D in ages. You know, it's prehistoric. But yeah, this is the original proof of weak hands. This is the backup interface. So I always like to go to this one because it's easy to get into. And look at that, we're at a declining and falling and failing P3D contract with only 8,740 left in this deal. And it's just sinking and sinking and sinking. This thing is just going to just wean down till it's dead. Um, cause Team Just has no interest in doing anything with this anymore ever since they did the FOMO games and all this other stuff. And so, uh, but that's where they're at right now with uh, P3D. And I guess I could just touch on what I did. I, I went into a different deal here, uh, an offshoot here. P40. This was probably back uh, a couple years ago too as well. Back when uh, Gandhi first started coming out and Crypto Saints started talking about P40. And so this is an unofficial expansion of P3D. So... I went into this thing a long time ago. I, I forgot what I put into it. I forgot what I... I don't even know what I got out of it except for these numbers it shows. Uh, I don't even know how much I put in originally with this 10,000 P40 tokens. Uh, but I've just been letting it set ever since. I've, I haven't taken anything out ever. And I'm just, I just left it in here just to let it kind of run and run and run until I guess all their P3D tokens are out of this thing, and then I, I'll just, you know, cash out my dividends from it. But yeah, that's where it's at here, see? So, I don't know, I just wanted to throw this out there as well. But I'm wondering if uh, Sonny out there has read the Forsage deal and see if there's anything that there's a knock on Forsage. There's something about Forsage I just don't like. I mean, besides that, it's similar to Crypto Hands. I just didn't care for Crypto Hands. And so that's the reason why I just didn't get into Forsage. Yeah, it's popular and all that. So that's just my thoughts on it. And, it, you know, like I said, nobody crypto and simple crypto inspired me to do this. So I just wanted to share my thoughts on it. And, uh, yeah, comment down below. Let me know what you think. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.